Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Brickloaf, and we're looking at the last week of the 2021 LEGO Advent Calendar, so let's begin. So we're going to begin by looking at the last week of the LEGO City Advent Calendar of this year. And the first build on day 15 was a fire station with a little fire extinguisher on the side to give it away. And maybe a little landing spot up top, so maybe the what I thought was a rescue helicopter was actually a fire helicopter from last week but it looks nice and it fits along with the others as well. On the next day, the build was a semi truck with a back add on to it and it actually slides on using the little pole there, but you can tell what it is and I think it may be related to the semi truck stunts set that came out this year. I'm not 100% sure though. On the next day, we had a, another person. This is a guy in a top hat with a little note there and a scarf. He's got a nice sweater, a single sided print, He's a really good city figure and I'll have fun putting him in the town somewhere. The build for the next day was actually two parts. It's a little workshop with a desk, with a hammer and a paintbrush with a duck, like a wooden duck being painted. And then the other one is like a steamship. These are supposed to look like toys that are being built uh, for Christmas and I thought they looked really nice. The build for the next day was a trash truck which has a little handle on the back. The handle swivels back and forth on this little knob there and it's supposed to be like it can pick up a trash can and dump it. But the colors look really nice, you can tell what the build is and it also came with a shovel and a little piece that looks kind of like poop or garbage, whatever it is. So that was nice, it goes along with what you get on the next day, which is a garbage lady. She's holding a glass bottle and a broom and she has a single sided print head but the hair is pretty unique, I don't think I've seen it before, and the uniform is really cool as well. The build for the next day was actually pretty simple. It was a chimney with like a little wreath on it, and it looks nice when you put it all together with the other pieces from the advent calendar, and it looks nice when you eventually build the Santa figure to kind of give it the Christmas atmosphere. And on the next day, it was a locomotive and it's got nice red and green Christmas colors and you can see there's a little part on the back to attach it to something. While that something is on the next day, it is a back cart full of presents. And you can see there's some studs there right in the center for someone to stand on. And it wasn't hard to guess who was going to stand on it. The next day was Santa with a megaphone and a cookie. And you can stand him on the train back there. So it's kind of like he's going through a parade and it looks really nice when you put it together with everything else that you've gotten in this calendar. In my opinion, this is one of the best LEGO City Advent calendars that I've had. I think that the minifigure selection was good. The builds were interesting. I liked how they had a building and a vehicle that went along with most of the builds there. And everything just seemed to fit together well. So I think they did a really good job. And next we're going to look at the final week of the LEGO Avengers 2021 advent calendar. And right off the bat, we have Miss Marvel. She's got two snowballs in her hand that you can pinch the sides of and it launches them from her hand. And she's got a double sided face print. One's a smiling face and one's got a little grimace. On the next day, there was an Iron Man snowman which has a little arc reactor, a plain white Iron Man helmet, and some snowballs for it around it. On the very next day, it was a micro build of an Avenjet. They made nice use of the torpedo back pieces for the back engines, and I think it looks really nice. It was super easy to tell what it was right off the bat. On the next day, it was Nick Fury with a knit cap. His eye patch print basically goes around the entire head, but it is single sided face, and he's got a little remote there to control some of the vehicles. And the day after was a micro build of the Avengers Tower. This was probably one of the best micro builds from this calendar. It was instantly recognizable and I think that it was a great idea to have an Avengers Tower build as part of the calendar. On the next day it was a like an Iron Man robot which used a crimson knit cap as part of the head and it's like a wind up toy for Christmas but it also has an arc reactor and it's cool to put around the Avengers stuff. And the day after is a micro build of the Hall of Armor from Iron Man. There was a set from that recently and I think this is a nice nod to that set as well as an inclusion of the red figures. On the next day was a Thor minifigure with a scarf, his hammer, a snowball, and a double-sided head. One has electrified eyes and the other is just a stoic looking face. 
And of course, the next day was a Christmas tree. And the gold looks really nice, but there's one more thing to add to it. On the next day, you get the Infinity Gauntlet with all the gems, and you put the Infinity Gauntlet on top as the tree topper. You could also put the other gems into the little golden parts of the tree as well to give it some decorations, but I didn't do that for now just because. But that's the Avengers 2021 LEGO calendar. And there were a lot of good figures. I'm glad I got the Infinity Gauntlet because I didn't have one before, and they did a fantastic job with this one. And now we move on to the last week of the Harry Potter calendar for 2021. And on the 15th day, we had a book with a wand case with one of Harry's wands inside. And these are some of his school equipment that he grabs and they go as part of future builds. The next day, as a matter of fact, came with a random wizard tile, a Hedwig, a platform nine and three quarters ticket, which I haven't seen before and a chocolate frog. And these are some of the other things that Harry got in Diagon Alley before he went to Hogwarts. And to go with that is a trolley on the next day, which holds the book and the wand case. And that's what he uses to go through platform nine and three quarters to the train. The next day came with another wizard tile. It came with a chocolate frog and it came with a Ron Weasley figure in his new robes and his face is double-sided, one's a smile, and one's kind of like a repulsed, scared face. And I'm pretty sure that the uniforms that are on all these figures, uh, all the Hogwarts figures, are unique to this calendar. The day after is a platform nine and three quarters Hogwarts Express sign, which is what Harry and Ron and everyone else walk through to get to Hogwarts. On the next day is a Hermione figure with a double-sided face. One is scared and one is just smiling. And the next day was a banquet table at Hogwarts with cherries, pumpkins, and a breadstick. They aren't all held on there tightly, so they do fall off every so often. The day after was a Malfoy figure with a smirk and a grimace on either side of his face and the same uniform that I mentioned on the other figures. And the day after was a Christmas tree. You gotta have one of these in every advent calendar. This one looks really good. Makes use of these star pieces as decoration and it is the same model scale as everything else. And on the last day was a Hogwarts themed spinner, like a top, and you use this to play the board game which is made out of the table here and whatever it lands on moves your person however many spaces. I actually set up the game here, but before I do that, in a previous video, I believe it was the first one, I said that this was the chimney and it is in fact the chimney and it was confusing, but I flipped it over and that looks more like a chimney than the other way I was showing it. So the letters actually go through the top and fall through like that. Just so you know, I looked back on it and I realized I was holding it the wrong way just because of the way the instructions told me to build it. Uh, but this is how the furnace looks. So once you put all the pieces on their numbered spot, you have a nice little journey to Hogwarts game to play here and you can use the figures. All you have to do is spin the top and whoever's figure rolled that, you just move them accordingly, and the end space is Hogwarts. And finally, we're looking at the last week of the Star Wars LEGO Advent Calendar. And the build on the 15th day is a snow speeder. It's a pretty simple build, but it's easy to tell what it is, and it looks really nice with the previous micro builds from other calendars and you can put the scout trooper on it as well, so it kind of fits. This is the droid shuttle that the Mandalorian and the child hide on when they are escaping from the bounty hunters attacking them. It's pretty interesting to see here. I wasn't sure what it was at first, but I'm glad they included it, and it's a pretty recognizable build once you go back and watch the episodes. The next build is Moff Gideon's light cruiser. It's a micro build of the one in the show, obviously, but it's interesting because that set also came out this past year and it looks pretty faithful. The next day was a probe droid with a little needle. Pretty simple build and the clear makes it look like it's floating. The next day was a micro build of the Slave One and this is probably one of the best micro builds of the Slave One I've seen. It's instantly recognizable, it's very large. A lot of the micro builds in this uh, calendar this year have been really large and it looks really cool. 
The build for the next day was another Mandalorian character, IG-11. He comes with a little back plate to hold his weapon, and the weapon actually comes on the next day with a little stand that has the Mandalorian's rifle and a rifle for the IG-11 to hold. There's been a stand for the Stormtrooper weapons, for the Tusken Raider weapons, and now the Mandalorian and his droids weapons, so I think it's really interesting that they've stuck with that theme. And the Mandalorian theme calendar wouldn't be right without a Grogu and a sweater, and he comes with a little pouch here that the Mandalorian can eventually put over his neck so it's holding him in a carrier and on the next day you actually build a little bed for him the one that he travels around with the Mandalorian in but it's got some red in there like Christmas and if you take him out of the holder he fits right inside and to go along with the Grogu you of course have to have the Mandalorian and this Mandalorian comes with a Christmas scarf actually printed onto his figure He's all shiny from the best scar he's got throughout the two seasons, but he still does not have a face print. I think it's been long enough that we can maybe get a face print on the Mandalorian, but he looks really great and he's unique to this set, and I'm glad that you have him. And this is what he looks like when he holds the Grogu figure. I think this calendar was one of the best Star Wars calendars that they've had. I love the figures and I love how they kept it to the Mandalorian theme. Thank you so much for watching these LEGO Advent Calendar videos. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more, keep an eye out for our winter village scene that will be coming up with soon, and have a happy holidays everyone.